Hello family. So in case you were wondering, where the hell have I been? I got suspended from YouTube. I'm not gonna do a video on it right now, but I will do, I will upload a second video explaining to you guys why I got suspended from YouTube. This is not like my first time getting suspended from YouTube. This is my second time getting suspended from YouTube. And my first time getting suspended was from a video, um, one of my earlier videos when I first started on YouTube. Someone had found that video, I've forgotten all about it, and reported it, okay? So now this particular video that I got, they took it down. Um, it was about a celebrity and they just took it down. But I'll tell you guys about that at a later date. So, why isn't Africa Bambada, or Bambada, whatever he called himself, sitting his big ass in jail? That's what I want to know. Let's go back to everybody that defended his ass. Lord Jamar, in his own way, defended him. Professor Griff, in his own way, defended him. KRS-1, damn sure, defended him. Uh, the Zulu Nation defended him. Grandmaster Flash and Grandmaster Melly, or Mel, whatever he called himself, they all defended this bastard. I'm seeing that most of these dudes ran in the same circles, right? They are all suspect as hell. I question all of their sexuality. I would never leave a kid alone with any of those guys that defended African Bambata, whatever his name is. KRS-1 is obviously not straight, and I wouldn't put pedophilia past a female rapper either of any orientation. Older women do molest teenage girls and boys. Even MC Light and Queen Latifah ran and did tracks with these dudes. And they have been as quiet as church mice on the subject. There are people knowingly, there are people who like knowingly look the other way while kids are getting molested. It boggles my mind. Apparently everyone in the Bronx River houses and surrounding neighborhoods knew that Bambada was a pervert and that he had a revolving door of little boys. People were afraid to tell. At least that's what they want us to believe. What kind of cold, loveless environment do you have to be raised in to have no feeling while children are getting eaten alive like that? I'd like to know. People who defend this demonic shit is just as guilty as the demon who does the sick shit. People are so caught up in so, into celebrities' image and status that when they do something to this magnitude, they will turn a blind eye just so they can ruin the image, just so that they won't ruin the image they have built of that person. This celebrity worship shit has got to stop. Listen. I give zero fucks about Bam, Bam's contributions to hip hop. I give zero fucks. This nasty bastard should be in jail right alongside R. Kelly. And all of these Bam supporters needs their fucking head examined and stick them inside the cell with Bam and R. Kelly. It has been said that the Zulu Nation is a front for pedophilia. For a pedophilia ring and I definitely believe that 100% it's a whole pedophilia and homosexual cult and those involved in it are afraid to speak out birds of a feather birds of a pedophilic pedophilia feather deflect project and violate together Bam Bata has been molesting children for over 20 years over 20 years let this sink in people while I'm speaking on child rapists 
Joe Biden came to mind. Do you guys know that he has plans on legalizing pedophilia? I think I said it before in a prior video. I think I may have mentioned that to you before. I think I have. I'm going to keep repeating that. It's very, very important. The government and Joe Biden is trying to legalize pedophilia. Normalize it. I swear, fuck Van Bata and the Zulu Nation for protecting his sick ass. Everybody and their moms knew he was raping boys for years. All of you are fucking trash. Anyone that had a hand in covering this shit up deserves to be not breathing, period. Africa Bambata is a serial child molester. Nobody's sp speaking the truth or saying what's up about what Africa Bambata has done and probably is still doing. You know, nobody's saying anything. But I'm saying something today. I was molested by a family member. Everyone in my family knew about it. And they acted as if it never happened. In fact, they hid this information from my father. I was not the only person in my family that this dude molested. Albert Johnson, that's his name, Albert Johnson, is a weird and sick pervert and deserves to spend the rest of his life in prison. This happens all too often in black families. But that's another topic. I'll save for another video. Right now I'm talking about boy butt chasers. Kevin Donovan. Kevin Donovan is the govern uh is Kevin, I'm sorry. Kevin Donovan is his government name. You know what I'm talking about. African Bambata. His real name is uh Kevin Donovan. Um Kevin Donovan, Bambata, whatever you call yourself, I'm calling you out. Booty Goon. My nickname for you is Booty Goon. <laughs> Q-Tip, Baby Bam of the Jungle Brothers and Queen Latifah all are part of this sick ritual of homo sex and pedophilia. I'm giving the game the side eye. I'm giving the game the side eye. Yes, I am. Why? Because I found out that he's into sick pedophilia shit too. The game, yes. And let's not forget uh, Wyclef. Remember Wyclef from back in the day? Um, he was having sexual relations with Lauren Hill when she was just a teenager and he was already a grown ass man. Why has no one ever called his ass out? I think Wyclef was like 18 or 19 and Lauren was literal, literally like 12 or 13. Everyone in that industry are indeed pedophiles. Charlemagne walking his weird ass around because the little girl was too scared to testify against his sick ass. That's the only reason why Charlemagne is still walking his sick ass around. Then Diddy out here smashing little boys who are minors. The game is still pretending to be straight. JC on, you're a clown. Let's talk about Prince. <laughs> Prince was walking on the borderline of pedophilia, okay? When he met the little girl, Mate, I guess that's her name that he married. He married her when she was like 17, I think. I think she was 17. Um, but I believe he married her. He met her at 17, but he married her when she was 22. Which still don't make it right, you know? But Prince dated many barely out of their teens young girls what do these sickos find so fascinating about children young enough to be their children <laughs> what it's really sick to me technically he wasn't a pedophile but his choices in teenage girls or barely grown girls was very suspect i'm just saying i'm not attracted to 17 18 19 year old boys i'm not i think of them as children and that's exactly what they are, children. Drake has been known to text underage girls. Yes, Drake, I'm calling out you. He has been known to text underage girls. It has been a pattern for him for many years. And he also likes boys. 
Tiger likes little underage girls. I, you know what? Tiger, I, ha I have never heard not one song by him. If anyone has ever heard a song by Tiger, please put it down in the comments. I have never, ever, ever, ever heard not one song by him. I'm sure I wouldn't like it anyway. Uh, anyway, side eye. I'm side eyeing Little Wing. I heard some shit about him too. I don't want to keep bringing up Jay Z, but if the shoe fits, pedophilia knows no political affiliation, no religion, no race, no culture, hell, not even gender. Anyone can be one. So people who are very adamant that one person is for sure not one are full of nothing but hope. Beyonce, I have not forgotten you. We all know that the Obama's moist ass, we all know that Obama's moist ass is involved in a lot of perverted shit. Takashi allegedly raped a 13 year old kid. Nobody talked about it. I can't recall him doing any time for it. Kodak, Kodak Black is allegedly a child molester too. Is he out of jail yet, by the way? Rape, murder, torture, and mutilizations, mut mut mutilizations occur very often in celebrity culture. Believe me when I tell you that all of the world's leaders and royalty and celebrities are involved. Question, why do y'all think Britney Spears went crazy? Britney was being raped on a nightly basis. This is why she shaved her head and had a mental breakdown. Her parents offered her up to be sacrificed, allegedly. Listen carefully to what I'm about to say, family. Some celebrities have clones. If these celebrities don't do what they are told, as long as the elite have a clone of you, they can kill your real body via heart attack or aneurysm, such as Bernie Mac, Whitney Houston, to name a few. After they killed your real body, they activate the clone of you in the cloning centers, turn your pain sensors all the way up, and torture you to death 1,000 or more times. This is known as mega, de me mega deathing. They did this to Paul Walker and Chris Benoit, the wrestler, and these sick Illuminati members have a have made a music video of what they did to him after they mega deathed him. The government don't want the public to know just how advanced technology really is. New technology is usually hidden from the public as long as possible to keep us skeptical about things like this. Cloning tests on animals already started decades ago. Just think about where they are now. Some of the artists that I've mentioned, I think they didn't expect their deaths. They already made enough money off of them, but they clone those they're worried about losing too soon. Kodak and Gucci. Kodak and Gucci. Remember those two names. That's all I'm going to say. Some of these people you are looking at have been dead for years. I'm just saying. You don't have to believe anything I am saying. I'm just asking you to think about what I've said. Stay woke, family. Love you guys. Toodles.